Oh, you just want to worship God. He is indeed our fighter. There are battles that you and I did not know about. He fought it all for us. Oh, you cannot be silent. You and I cannot be silent. You and I cannot be silent. You and I cannot be ungrateful. He said, count the blessings. Name them one by one. And if we surprise you what the Lord has done, what has the Lord done? We have seen another month. January has ended. We have entered February. God has been faithful. We would have been rested, oh God, in a mortuary or in a cemetery. But God said no. Nancy said no. Oh, when all things came, when sickness came to pull you down, when that situation came to drag you mad, Nancy said no. And so we are just here to say you are that God that fought for us when we had nothing to do. You that spoke for us when we did not have a voice. You are the one we want to give all the glory to. We just say that we don't have our glory. Oh, medicine will not have our glory. Oh, economy will not have our glory. Our skills will not have our glory. Our intelligence will not have our glory. Oh, God, our beauty will not have the glory. We said, all oh, the glory belongs to you. We say, all oh, the glory belongs to you, Jesus. We say, all oh, the glory, glory, glory belongs to you. Oh, you are God. You are God. You are God. And God, you are. Yes, you are the Lord, and most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most high.
and confusion and plagues and what you know will bring you out. Amen. Apostle Paul said that I may know him. That I may know him. Job says I know that my redeemer So what do you know now? <laughs> so I know it is possible. Amen. Talk to yourself. Say I know. I know. It is possible. It is possible. Say it again. Say, I know. I know. It is possible. It is possible. This year, twenty twenty three. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. With God on my side, it is possible. It is possible. It might be difficult. Not with God. Because with God, it is what. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Did you see it? So it might be difficult. But not with God. Not with God. It might be difficult. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, it's you know, difficult. You know, difficult. You know, you know, Korea will say, Oreo. <gasps> Oreo wants me that. I you know. I'm telling you. They will say, Oreo. Wait, how do I mean? Only question. Until the Lord is helping me to speak. <laughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So I tell you, all your war. That's what the woman will say. All your war. How you know? All your war. All your war. How many? How many? How many? 
Halalim, Halu Bushi. That means with God, all things are possible. possible. So I want you to get that as children of God this year. So long you have entered, it is, you know, it is, it is, it is a failure for you not to, you know, benefit what this year's own. Because failure is not in your gene. Your gene has been deprogrammed to reprogram. What we are doing for you all, or what we are doing for ourselves, is deprogramming what the devil put in. And reprogramming his promises into you. Amen. Deprogramming the enemies of your life that say you won't make it. You will not make it. So we are reprogramming. The scripture says in Acts 2, it said, the Holy Spirit, what did he do? Did he, did he, did he, did he stay on them? What did he stay? He starts where? Yeah. On them. Why did he start there? So that he can reprogram you. It is sat on the legs, but it sat on their head. So that they can reprogram what was there. What the enemy said. It can remove fear, remove failure, and put in sources. Amen. Put in healing. Amen. It can remove it. It can remove fear because, you know, the children of God, they fear too much. They fear too much. And once you know who you are, what you know can make you free. What you know, not what you have, I have. But sometimes when we, we lose it, right? Mm -hmm. Things you have, you lose it. There are times I lost my key. I lose my key, I lost it sometimes. I lose my key. But what you know, you can't lose it. It's in your gene DNA. Amen. It's in your web DNA. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you feel it now? That you are coming from a lineage of Jesus Christ. That his blood runs in your vein. Can't you see it now? It runs in your body. It runs in your vein. Failure is not in his lineage. Mm, that's right. That's why this year, uh, team for this ministry is... Uh, God's uh, position and uh, advancement. So I want to say welcome you all, especially our daily beloved sisters. Uh, sister, my, my daily beloved sister there, you know, I remember we crossed over. Yes. And this is the first time again after the crossover to see you again. Amen. Looking so fantastic together with our daily beloved sister. Amen. Thank you for coming. Put us in the box, Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I want to thank God too for our pastor. Amen. Our old baby pastor. You know, she prayed for the nation of uh, South uh, Korea because she's very concerned yeah. about the country. That is why you see her on fire, right? Yes. She's angry. Oh, yes, for what they are doing is not right. Yes. And I'm telling you, that is why you know we pray concerning it. And God who sees, God will answer. Amen. Yes. And a thank God for uh, every ministers, our deacon, deaconess, Philomen, uh, Aku, Aku, and uh, the wife evangelist uh, Michelle. We just came from, you know, yes, we just came from Hansa. So sweet, you know, because we passed a different route, yes. not the former route, <laughs> and we got there on time. Yes. We we're supposed to start by two, but if I were there after one, yes. I'm telling you, yeah, the road was I don't know. We passed through Inchon, in, 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 I mean, Inchon, before you know, you're already in Anza. Uh -huh. ah, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> after one, and we left. Uh, we left here after 12. after 12. We got it after one. Did you see it? So everything worked together. For who? To them that what? And who are called? That is it. That is God's purpose for us not to be stressful this year. I'm telling you, we just arrive early and sit down and quietly. No 
stress, no stress, no stress, no stress, no stress, no stress, no stress, no stress, no stress is here. So the Lord showed us a place. So when Michelle was there, you know, he was also directing me. Uh, yes, because that is his food. He said, take care, this is it. I'm telling you. <laughs> and we got there early enough. I said, what? So I'm going to give God the glory. And thank you so much for our dear beloved sister, the ushers who are trying. Mm -hmm. Our usher, Elaine. Put us again for usher, Elaine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our chief ushers, uh, chief usher, Austin. Yeah. 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 And we thank God for our dear beloved sister, Sister Matta Shihiru. Wonderful. And every one of you are looking so beautiful. Ah, look at our mask here. Yeah, mask. Put us again for man. The way you handle it, and my boy who handled the throne. Everything was uh, going together for, for good. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, our multimedia. They're controlling the system to see how beautiful it is. And uh, for the choir, my God, we put us in the throne. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 16, it said, Let us come boldly. Yeah. So, we yeah. That's we were. And also, find grace in time of her. She took us to the throne of perspective. Can you see how we went there? <laughs> and we came down again. We came back to where we are. So, oh, you know, she's supposed to remember there. Oh, so, we are. <laughs> so, the worship was there. We we just we just thank the Lord Almighty for the Lord using them all, all of them. I mean we just give God all the glory. Amen. And thank God too for my my who? My who? My jelly, you know. And people used to say that women come out from here. The red Yeah, so which which area? The side. The side. So she's on the side. Understand that? The side, the side, the side, always with me by the side, not in my front, but in behind me, by the side. Amen. By the side. Put your city for Jesus Christ. Amen. And one time God for Brother Mark. Mark, put your city for Brother Mark. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Man. I want to thank you all. You are looking so beautiful, so handsome, so you know, so smart, so majestic, so unique. You know, please don't forget, we normally have discipleship class. Any ministry without disciple, well, every ministry must have a disciple. It's very important. So this ministry has disciple. You know, we have a class. Yes, because why do we do it? It says, go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. It is a stay, say go, because someday we are going to leave this country. Someday when God say, that is it. So we are not sitting down on anybody. I want you to have freedom because someday you will leave. You will leave. You will leave this country to another place God wants you to be. So you must be disciples so that what you know, you will take it along with you. Is that all? That is it. So we don't sit down on you. No way. Have that freedom of worship. That freedom of worship. That freedom of worship. That freedom to serve God. Amen. 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 Let nobody take away your freedom. Take away your what? Your freedom. Have freedom of worship. And thank the Lord also for this call that the Lord has given us mm -hmm. through uh, our own dear beloved uh, pastor, Pastor F. Z. Bar. She gave us this place to worship. Amen. Put something in for her. I want to say thank you, man, for giving us this place to just worship unto God. Amen. 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 Put something in for Jesus Christ. Yes, we are safe right now. And take, okay, yeah, please take the Bible and turn to Exodus. 14, 13 to 16 quickly. You see it, you read. Exodus. Yes, Exodus 
14, 13 to 16. Exodus 14, 13 through 16. Yes, ma'am. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will shew to you today. Yes. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, yes. ye shall see them again no more mm. forever. Mm. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Mm. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me, Speak yes. unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Yes. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Amen. 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 Whenever before we go ahead and say, I receive the peace of God. I receive the peace of God. The peace that passes all understanding. The peace that passes all understanding. Not of this world. Not of this world. But of the Lord. So I receive peace. I receive peace. Throughout this year, 2023. Throughout this year, 2023. Peace in my life. Peace in my finances. Peace in my job. Peace in my career. Everywhere I go, the peace of the Lord. 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 Amen. Father, we thank you for your word coming on the throne room perspective. God, bring it to us your word. Let your word be missed with faith. Thank you. Only you can do this, Lord. And take all the glory. Use me as a pen of a ready writer. Speak your word in time and in season. Father, decrease so that you might increase. And take away flesh from me. Take away self from me. Take away self from me. Let only you alone be seen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Take the stage now amen. and do what only you can do is in Jesus. The church shall amen. 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 Now, as you see the team, we are going with this team for the year. Don't forget, the team for the year. The team for the year. It means uh, God's positioning and uh, advancement. Now, God. He told Moses, he said, hey, Moses, I want you to do something for me. You have to take the people, my people, to cross them over. I'm telling you. Yeah, Moses, and Moses now said, I want to the ten. He said unto the people, fear ye not. I don't know who is afraid to them. Ye not. Fear what? Ye not. Say so this year. This year. I bind any spirit of fear. I bind any spirit of fear. Any spirit of fear. Any spirit of fear. I bind it. I bind it. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whatever that is bound with. Earth. First is earth before we live on earth. Yes. Not in heaven. Here first. We live on earth. So whatever we bind here, whatever you don't like, bind it. Heaven will sanction it. Amen. God is waiting for you to speak. Bind whatever you don't like. I don't like this, so I bind it. Yes. That heaven will respond to you. So, God told Moses to tell the people. And Moses began to say, Fear you not. Stand still. Don't be shaken by what is happening. Don't be carried away by what is going on. And see the salvation of the law. Salvation of the law. Salvation of the law. Which he will show you today. For the Gentiles whom ye have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Say, so I make a decree. I make as decree. I go out this year. As I go out this year. Any enemies, any enemies that, I have, 
that will stand against me. I will see them no more. 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 Enemies of my life. Enemies of my destiny. Enemies of my advancement. I will see them no more. I will see them no more. I will see them no more. My brother, my sisters. He said, the Lord shall fight for you. Who will fight for you? The Lord. The Lord. Government cannot fight for you. Then who will fight? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will fight for you. Number one, you have to remove fear first. Remove fear. Fear out. Then the Lord will fight for you. When the Lord is fighting for you, He will fight in the government. I'm telling you. When God is fighting for you, He will do what? He will fight in the government. It will put trouble in the midst. It will put confusion in the midst. When God is fighting for you. Fighting for you. He said, the Lord will fight for you. And what is it? And you shall hold your peace. See your peace. Just hold it. So long you know. Just hold your peace. So long you know. Just hold your peace. So long you know. Just hold your peace. As I was talking here, I just discovered that our sister, please put your hands in for our sister, sister, anything. Amen. Just came to the right Anything, sister, anything, sister, anything. You see what she came out to the little dance. Amen. Don't forget this day, she will give testimony. Amen. Remember this day, you know, she came out to be dancing. I'm telling you. So don't forget this day. Don't forget this day. That, oh, I remember when she danced among the people of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then, and the Lord said unto Moses again, <laughs> you know, he said, wherefore criest thou unto me? Why are you crying, Moses? Why do you cry? Don't you know, Moses? Do not cry. Do not cry. <laughs> don't, cry. don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm telling you. Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. I'm telling you. Don't cry. You know, people who cry don't know what to do. Yeah. But once you know what to do, you don't need to cry. cry. So, this is what the Lord is telling Moses now. Why do you cry? Speak all the children of Israel. That what? They go forward. Prophesy on that. Brother Nancy, to you say from today. This year. This year. I prophesy unto you. You shall go forward. You shall go forward. No fire will stop you. No power can hinder you. I prophesy. I decree on your life. You shall move forward. You shall move forward. You shall move forward. You shall move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Amen. You know, we are making God's word to be reality. Yes. To be living in our system. Amen. Not just story, it's real. Yes. We're not talking story here. Mm. We are talking the reality of God to you all. So that you believe what is, you know, what he spoke to Moses is he saying it today. Hebrews 13, verse 8 says, well, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, Forever. and Forevermore. Amen? Amen. Now look at the structure now. Sister. So but lift thou up thy rod. Ah, thy rod. You know, thy rod. And stretch out thy hand over the sea. Over the sea. And divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. What is the wrong? Can I see the wrong? This way I came today. Most of us don't take the wrong. We don't read our word. Take the word. The C represent trouble. Problem. S E A C represent trouble. He told Moses to take the wrong and do what? Divide. 
Problems are divided. Problem needs to be divided. And once you divide problem, what do you do? You move in the midst of it. And, yes. and yes. So what happened? They come close again. Mm. Why? So that somebody too will also do his own. Because <laughs> salvation is possible. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. I'll tell you, so that the person can also experience what you experience. Yes. 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 Because I can't eat for your stomach. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You can't eat for me. <laughs> right. I, I'm telling you, my brother. So, the word of God is to divide the trouble of your life. Amen. Have the word. Have the word of God. This year, 2023. Have it to divide any circumstances. It could be trouble, it could be problem, whatever. Use the word as a rod to divide it and you go to the other side. Right. With the word of God, say in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say with the word of God. With the word of God. In my mouth. In my mouth. I will use it. I will use it. To divide. To divide. Any trouble. Any trouble. Any problem. Any problem. That comes my way. That comes my way. In this year. In this year. 2023. 2023. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So check the word. It's very easy. I don't know why you look at it. It's very easy. The Old Testament is about how many? 27. Or the, 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 sorry, the New Testament is a, I mean, the New Testament is a 27, and the New Testament is what? 29. All together, how many? This is books. This is books. Read it. Because some of us, we can read other literature books that contains on thread. On thread. On thread. Books. You can read it. But just to read this one is, is, is uh, a. <laughs> Is is a problem? Why? Why is it a problem? Why? <laughs> why? I'm telling you, you know, because it's spirit. So the, the solution you need is in in the Lord, in the Word of God. It is a very Jeremiah 15 verse 16 says, "I eat the Word." Jeremiah 15 verse 16, "I eat the Word. I eat the Word, and it's like honey. The Word of God is sweet. When you have the Word, there is no shaking, no fear anymore." Jeremiah 15, 16. Someone read Jeremiah 15, 16. What did he say there? Jeremiah 15, 16. Jeremiah 15, 16. What did he say? Jeremiah 15, 16. Jeremiah 15, 16. What did he say? Jeremiah 15, 16. Hallelujah. Amen. Your words were found, and I ate them. Uh -huh. And your words became a joy to me, hey. and the delight of my heart. Uh -huh. For I have been called by your name. Yes, sir. Lord God of armies. Amen. Did you see it? You eat the word. You need to eat the word just like you eat drugs. You know, drugs like medicine. Sometimes you feel malaria, fever, prescriptions they give to you. You take it every day. Uh, you must take it. Some people, they can't sleep without a drug. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. They can't sleep without a drug. They can't sleep. They must remember that drug. They want to remember this, the word. If you can remember your drugs, every time your drugs, your drugs, your drugs. Then what about the world? What about this one? The world. And uh, it's good to take drugs. I'm not saying you should not take medicine. Medicine is good. But you have to balance it with the world. I'm telling you, remember, because I'm telling you, God, God put doctors there to prescribe for you what you need physically. But the spiritual world is the world. God owns everything. So what do you do to balance, uh, I mean, the equation? By going to the world, eat the world. Eating the world, it, 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 it means I know who I am. Amen. And I know who I am with the world in your system. So the Lord told Moses, What is in your hand? A rod. Why don't you divide this, 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 this sea? And he divided it. The Bible said, <laughs> The people of God, they pass. Throw it to the other side. Then what happened behind? What happened? Like God, yeah, are you surprised? Why did God have to close it? Why? Why? Look at that. Why? Why did God have to close it? Why did God have to close the Red Sea? Why? The yeah? the enemies, which is there, the Egyptians. You have to close it against. You don't know who your enemies are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to cross them over. 
If I am telling you, when God has not asked you, God only asks his people, God, he told Moses, my people. He didn't say Egyptian, he didn't say so. No. Aha. Sometimes we, we, we cross our enemies. I'm a brother. I told you, sometimes we cross our enemies. Also, I'm telling you, brother. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you enjoying today? Yeah. I want the word of God to be living in your system. To know it works in our system. Amen. I'm telling you. Now let's go to the other scriptures now. The other scriptures is in uh, Genesis 12. Genesis 12, 1 to 4. 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 Genesis 12. 1 to 4, please. Genesis 12, 1 to 4. Yes, ma'am. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get yes. thee out of thy country, and yes. from thy kindred, and mm. from thy father's house, mm. unto the land that I will shew thee. Yes. And I will make of thee a great nation, mm -hmm. and I will bless thee, mm -hmm. and make thy name great, mm -hmm. and thou shalt be a blessing. Yes, ma'am. And I will bless them that bless thee, yes. and curse him that curse thee, mm -hmm. and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Yes. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We are talking about going forward now. Don't forget. Now, this was the call of Abraham. Abraham was called. His name was not Abraham yet, but Abraham. Now, he said, the Bible said, Now the Lord had said unto him alone, Get out, number one, of your country. So, where we are now is not our country. Now, it now becomes our country. Do you see it? I'm telling you, by promise, by the promise, this is our land now. I'm telling you. He said, get thee out of thy country, number one, your country. Number two, your kindred, where you come from. Your kindred, your family. Number three, your father's house. You see your father's house? Father's house has been a problem all these years. If you are there too long, you can't go further. Father's house, you know, Father's house is unto a land that I will show you. But yet, everyone did not know the land. Did you know the land? No. Don't know. You never know the land. Where am I going? What is God saying? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Sometimes you don't know where I'm going on Father's house in Korea. Sometimes you say, well, I'm going to be here for one year. But you discover about 20 years here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to leave my wife? No, no, no. <laughs> So I say, no, 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 this place is a chance for me. Maybe I'm, I'm going to stay in Korea for one year. Before you know, you, you are 15 years. <laughs> Just know this is where God has brought you here. Amen. Uh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Then, then they say, um, two says, and I will make of thee a great nation. Where is he going now? You don't know. But he said he's going to make him a great nation. And I will bless thee. You see, bless thee? I will bless thee. Who is the I there? God himself said he's going to bless thee now. And make your name great in that nation you are going. Of oh, which you don't know yet. You don't know that nation now. But I will make your name great. And uh, thou shalt be a blessing. When you are blessed, you become what? A blessing. Blessing means to others. To others. To others. And I will, he said, and I will bless them that bless thee. In the Lord, I'm showing you now. Because once you are going, you see blessing. I'm telling you now. In the place, you know, in the place you are in now, he said, you bless them that bless me. And cause them that what? So any man or woman that curse you in the land that God has given to you, that person is already cursed Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever the person is that will rain causes on you, yes. that cause is reversed back to the sender Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So Abraham departed. Now where is he going? Look at where is he going? He departed. <laughs> he departed. You know, Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him. A lot went with him. There's a problem with now. 
Lord went with him. You see here? With him. And Abraham was how old now? How old are you here? Is anybody 75 years? God can bless you any time. I say God can bless you any time. God can bless you any time. You don't need to panic or fear. God will bless you any time. 75 years. 75 years old. And Abraham is listening to the voice of the Lord. The kingdom of God is with instructions. The kingdom of God is governed by instructions. It's governed by what? Instructions. 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 So, my brother, my sister, Abraham departed. And he was 75, 75 years old. 75 years old. How old are you here? Some of us are not 75 now. Then we are complaining. Oh, yeah. oh, no way. Look at this man. Look at this man. Look at this man. <laughs> what about you? You know? Yes, we are depressed. Oh, oh. No. Abraham did not complain. He just obeyed God. Amen. You know? He obeyed God. He obeyed God. It's not going. Because his name is still Abraham. Not Abraham. I'm telling you. Because he's still on the making. It's in the showroom to happen. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So, my brother, with courage, Abraham start going. With courage. You don't know where he was going. How do we know? Let's go to um okay, let's go to Joshua 1 verse 9. Joshua 1 verse 9. What did he say? Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Uh -huh. Be strong and courageous. Yes. Do not be terrified nor dismayed. Yes. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Talk to your neighbor and say, Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Say again, say, be not afraid. Be not afraid. In 2023, In 2023 the Lord shall move with you. The Lord shall move with you. He shall go with you. He shall go with you. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Be not be dismayed. Be not be dismayed. Amen. Now we're talking about going forward, and uh, we talk about this man, Abraham, and now Joshua. Courage is what they need, and courage is what is taking them to move. Courage imparts grace for obedience. Courage what? Imparts grace for obedience. How do we know obedience? Let's go to another scripture because I'm giving you scriptures. I'm giving you what the Lord is. Second Corinthians 10 verse 6. Second Corinthians 10 verse 6. I'm just making you know, you know, it's what the Lord is saying. Second Corinthians 10 verse 6, please. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 6. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 6. 2 Corinthians 10 6. Yes, and having been a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Amen. 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 With five minutes of prayer, obedience plus obedience is done. I repeat again. With five minutes of prayer plus what? Obedience is done. You know, see, just only five minutes of prayer. With obedience, <laughs> it's all. It's all. Most of us, after speaking in tongues, we are disobedient. After speaking in tongues, fasting for 80 days or 40 days, ah, you see disobedience in Allah. Just speaking, I'm telling you, speaking in tongues plus disobedience. So, what will it result? You see, my brother? And my sisters, get obedience with five minutes of prayer. The Lord will answer you. Amen. I'm telling you, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes with obedience, 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 obedience. And once your obedience is fulfilled, the enemy shall be punished. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So courage imparts grace for obedience. The greatest attribute of courage is. To obey God's word. Obey his word. The power of the believer is in obedience. 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 
So just like what happened to Abraham, he obeyed, right? Yeah. He obeyed. He didn't question God. God, where am I going? Where are you taking me to? I don't even know where I'm going. But he just obeyed God. Is that correct? He obeyed God. He obeyed God. He obeyed God. He even told Abraham that whosoever that cause you, I'm going to cause them. Amen. Why? Because of obedience. Obedience, 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 obedience. So the power of the believer is in obedience. My brother, when your obedience is fulfilled, it will avenge every disobedience. My brother, my sisters, you can intimidate any situation that comes your way when your obedience is fulfilled. When you obey God, when your obedience is fulfilled, when you obey God. So it takes courage to step out of the known to the unknown. It says what? Oh. Courage to step out of the known to the unknown. Abraham went to the unknown through courage. Courage commands God's presence. What is it? It commands what? God's presence. This is with courage that God is with you. You know that God is with me. I go to James 1 9. I know it's with me. You have the courage. I know it's with me. Wherever I am, wherever I go. So you don't you don't know what God can do until you take courage to step out. Until you step out of the boat, you can never be able to walk on water. God will never back a man sitting down doing nothing. He will always back a man standing up. So if David did not run towards Goliath, yeah. he would not have seen the power of God. That's right. So, my brother, my sister, take courage this year. Take courage as you move. Understand that God is with me. Understand that God is with us. Do not entertain fear. Do not entertain fear. Someone courage. Courage, courage, courage. Now, things to do to go forward. There are things to do to do what? To go forward. Number one is remembering your past testimonies. What I say? Remembering your past testimonies. Let's go to the scriptures. It's in First Samuel 17. First Samuel 17, 32 to 37. First Samuel 17, 32 to 37. You see it, you read it. First Samuel 17, 32 to 37. Hallelujah. Amen. And David said to Saul, May no one part fall on account of him. Your servant will go and fight this Philistine. Hmm. But Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine to fight him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior since his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant was tending his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and took a sheep from the flock, I went out after it and attacked it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. And when it rose up against me, I grabbed it by its mane and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, since he has defied the armies of the living God. And David said, the Lord who saved me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, he will save me from the hand of this Philistine. Mm. So Saul said to David, Go, and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. So remember your past testimonies when nobody was there with you. So once you remember that, it will give you courage. When nobody was with you, how the Lord saved you. Look at what David. David began to give, I mean, gave his resume. And David said also, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and they came a lion. <laughs> and the bear. <laughs> you know, I took him up out of the flock, and I went after him, and smote him, and delivered him out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him. And slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion, number one, <laughs> both the bear, Amen. and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. Amen. My brother, remembering your past uh, 
That one will impart courage. Yes. It will impart what? Courage, courage to move further, to go forward. If the Lord has been with me, was with me, this one, it, it, it was to be with me. I know it might be difficult, but not with God. Because with God, all things are possible. Thank God. Remember, re start to remember, you know, the past testimony, what it did for you when nobody was there. Nobody was there. When nobody was there. As a pastor, I don't sleep with everybody. Is that not correct? <laughs> I only sleep with my wife and my children. I don't know what is going on. So who is keeping you? Is it the pastor? <laughs> that is it, my brother. That, that's, I'm telling you. That is it, my brother. So you are the one. You are the one. You are the one now. That the Lord had. So you remember the past testimonies. Just like what David is saying now. So, my brother, my sister, things to do, number one, is what? Remembering your past testimony. Remember what? Your, your past, past testimony. I want you to go deep into you. Anytime fear comes, summon courage and tell the devil and his brother in law that he was with me last week, last year. This year, ah, I know he will do it. Amen? Amen. Don't entertain fear this year at all. This just February, today is fifth. And 28 days, but from now on, has four is 23 days remaining. Is that not correct? Mm. I'm telling you, yes, yes we already out of 31. Now it's not 28. Now it's not, it's, uh, I'm telling you, 28 days. The time going today, it don't happen to be 23 from now. Is that not correct? Yes, yes. That is it. So every day is a win. Amen. Every day is a plus. Amen. Every day is a plus. Amen. Not a minus. Amen. Not a minus. Amen. As you wake up every day, someone courage. Amen. Someone courage, someone courage. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number one is remembering what? Past, 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 past testimonies. My brother, please, when you remember past in the testimony, it gives courage. It gives you courage. Say, ah, it's true. I was to die. But the Lord was with me. I was to die. But how? How I was to die? So if you remember, that means it is impossible to die. Yes. Untimely. It's impossible because if you remember how the Lord helped you when nobody was there, then it gives you courage. Is that not correct? Yeah. Courage and say, No, I can't die. Because if I cannot die last year, I can't die this year. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two is be conscious of God's presence. What did I say? Be, be conscious. conscious of God's presence. Deuteronomy 20 is one. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. Somebody help us with it. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. What did it say? Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. Yes, ma'am. If you have to go to war, you may find yourself facing an enemy army. Yes. That is bigger than yours. Mm. And that has horses and chariots. Mm. But don't be afraid. See? The Lord your God rescued you from Egypt. <laughs> and he will help you fight. Amen. 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 So I want you to be conscious of his presence. According to the scripture. In Deuteronomy 20 verse 1. He said when that goes. When this, there, there's going to be a time. When that goes out to battle against their enemies, anytime you go out, there are enemies. Once you wake up in the morning, you start out enemies. 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 But you don't know who they are. He said, when thou goest out to battle against their enemies, that life is a battle. Life is what? A battle. A battle. You think everybody likes you? <laughs> you think so? No, 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 no. No, no. If God open your eyes, you will know who is against you. <laughs> you will be surprised that somebody close to you is the one. I'm telling you. Oh it could be your parents. It could be your. It could be your uncle somewhere. <laughs> I'm telling you, my brother, my sister. He said, "When thou goest out of battle against your enemies and seest horses, you see what they have. You see chariot. You see guns. You see connection." Ah, and people more than thou. 
He said, be not afraid. Don't be afraid, <laughs> don't be afraid of their chariot. Don't be afraid of their, you know, ammunitions. Don't be afraid of their connections. Don't be afraid. You know, afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is what? Is with thee. Say, say from today. From today. I know. I know that the Lord, that the Lord is, with is with me. Say I know. I know that the Lord that, the Lord that, is, with that is with me. I'm not afraid, I am not afraid of, the of the enemies. As I go out there, as I go out there, I'm not afraid I'm not because afraid. I know because that the Lord that, that is with you know is with me. That is his presence is ever abiding in me. God's presence abide with me. Abide in me. Abide on me. Somebody shout hallelujah. He said, For the Lord I go. Is he that go where? Are you the one going alone? I'm asking you, are you going alone? No. Because number four said, For the Lord I God is with you. To fight for you against who? To do what? To save you. Because the enemies want you out. The God said, I will save you. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number one is remember past. Testament number two is be conscious. I'm telling you. Romans 8 31 say, If God be for me, God have one. Who oh, can be the Jesus. I'm telling you. The Matthew 28, 20 says what? I am with you always, even unto the end of age. Psalm 23, verse 4 says what? Yea, though I walk through what? The valley of the of the, What did he say? Why? For thou art with me. Uh -huh. The road? And the sun. What comforts us is the road. The road is the world. The sun. They comfort us. Amen, somebody. Amen. Psalm 43, verse 2 says, When you pass through here, the waters I will deal with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. Amen. When you walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, Amen. neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Yes. All these are word of God for us not to be afraid. Then number three is know who you are. Know who you you are. Philippians four thirteen. He says, "I can do." All things. How many things? All things. How many things? All things. Through who? Christ. That what? That gives you strength. Not through your own ideology. Not through your own connection. But through Christ that empower you. I can do. I can do. I can pass my exam. If you are a student here, just tell you, you will pass your exam. Amen. Any student we have here cannot see a student here. If you are a student, raise up your hands. All the students say, I will pass my exam. I will pass my exam. Because I know. Because I know. I know. I know. That the Lord is with me. That the Lord is with me. I can do. I can do. All things. All things. That strength is me. That strength is me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is it now. You can't. That is it. That is it. I can do. I can do. No, I, mean, I can do all things because of Christ with you. That's right. And number four. Bold declaration. Bold what? Declaration. Let's go to Psalm 118, verse 17. He said, I shall not uh, die, but shall live and do what? To declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die. That's what David said. David was running away, but at the time he stepped down and said, No way, I will not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. Shall not die. So, bold declaration is the path canal of our destiny. Whenever you declare your sonship, who you are in Christ, you make the devil know that you know exactly his truths. Yeah. The devil and his mother in law tell them you know who you are now. They can't do you anything. They may threat you and they cannot take you out. I'm telling you. I'm telling my brother. Tell me, said, I shall not die, but live. Wherever you are, say, I make a decree. I make a decree. On my life. On my life. In 2023. In 2023. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die prematurely. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live. I shall live. I shall live. I shall live. To declare the works of the Lord. The works of the Lord. What I have to declare is testimony. How do you say? You can't die prematurely anyhow. I'm telling you. So declare that I cannot fail 
whatever you are saying, I cannot fail. Say, I cannot fail. You are declaring now, you are declaring, I mean, declaring your sonship. Say, I cannot fail. I cannot fail. Say, I cannot fail. I cannot fail. Say, I am a super success. I am a super success. Even in the midst of crisis, declare. Because the Bible says, when the word of the king is this one, power. and there's power in your domain, in your kingdom. You can be in your home and begin to send missile, send missile, make a decree. I'm telling you, speak to the atmosphere, command the day, command the day, command the element of the day, and they will they will respect what you are saying. From where you are, it could be a small altar. Begin to begin to begin to what? Begin to begin to begin to begin to shoot bullets. Shoot me, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the scripture says in Psalm 81, verse 10, you know, it said, Open your mouth wide, and I will feel it. <laughs> your mouth has so much to say, but I don't know why you're not saying it. You know, if you go to, you know, King Boga, Boga King, there's queen size, queen size of the Boga. You buy it. When you eat the eye, you know, the right? The mom. So there are words there. There are words. There are words there. There are words that, that you have to release into the atmosphere. Declare your sonship in Christ. Amen. Because we have to manifest according to the sons. We are the sons right now. We have to do what? To manifest because they are waiting for us. The earnest expectation. They are waiting for you and I to do what? To manifest. So, my brother, my sisters, in Christ, let's take the last scripture for today. 2 Corinthians 4.13, the last scripture for today. 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 Yeah. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13. You see it, you read, we close from here. Yes, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13. Verse 13. Yes, ma'am. We, having the same spirit of faith, uh -huh. according as it is written, yeah. I believe and therefore have I spoken. Uh -huh. We also believe and therefore I speak. speak. <laughs> this is the scripture. So, I was upon this telling us this that we have the same spirit, not the yes. spirit. In this ministry, we have, we have, we have the same spirit. Amen. The same spirit of what? Of faith. Faith, faith is a spirit. So faith is finished until it is spoken. What I say? Faith is finished until what? It is spoken. So faith, we need faith. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. So have, say, having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. Not according to my forefather. According as it is written. Not according to ideology. According as it is written. He said, I believe, therefore have I spoken, and therefore speak. We're going to speak today. Amen. Let us all rise up to speak. Let us rise up. We are going to speak. I'm telling you, speak by faith. Faith is a spirit. Speak. Speak. You, you have to speak. Because of that faith that is being invited in you. Faith. 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 My brother, fight is finished until it is spoken. It's not yet finished. When you speak it, it's finished. Amen. Because that's why I say it is finished. It is finished. Means it is completed. It is finished. It is finished. By faith, you move out. By faith, you move. By faith, you speak it to existence. He said, it called those things. You know, those things, not as though, as though they were. You call them forth. Whatever you need, speak by faith. Amen. Whatever you need in 2023, speak by faith. Say in the name of Jesus, right? In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak by faith. I speak by faith. Say, I speak by faith. I speak by faith. Everything for 2023. Everything for 2023. I receive it. I receive it. Say 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 I receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set by faith. Set by faith. Every limitation from my lineage is broken. Down. Down. 
I receive the spirit of progress, the spirit of advancement in the name of Jesus Christ. Any satanic hold down that is hindering me to advance, lose your power, 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 lose your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of limitation in my life, in my family, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil enchantment done on my name to limit me, to limit my family, to limit me, to limit me, be reversed. Be reversed, be reversed, be reversed by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. I pull down, I pull down any satanic hindrance, any satanic hindrance set in motion to my disadvantage. I pull them down, I pull them down, I pull them down, I pull them down. Any power, any Resisting my testimony, resisting my celebration, resisting my testimony, resisting my miracle, resisting my breakthrough. Anywhere you are, resisting my breakthrough, resisting my next level. In broken, in pieces, in broken, in pieces, in broken, in pieces, in broken, in pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, any evil pattern. Any bloodline pattern, a covenant speaking against my life, against my destiny, be blotted out by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Then I receive supernatural empowerment to rise above any limitation. In my life, in my family, in my heritage, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I command any limitation, any limitation to be removed on my way this year, 2023, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I break any satanic absorption. So I break. So I break. So I break. Any satanic obstruction on my way. This year, say I break them. I break them by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Say I make a decree and I declare unto my life. Let the favor of God rest on me. Rest on me. Favor. Favor of God. Rest on me as I go out, as I go out, favor, rest on my life, rest on me, rest on my family, rest on me, rest on me, rest on me. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach is terminated from my life. Any shame, any reproach that the enemy is trying to push to me. Is terminated from my life by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone, anyone against my life, against my great power, anyone that gather, any money spirit, any money power, anyone that gather against me, I command the earth to be open and swallow them. By fire, 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 by fire. I am advancing. I cannot be struck. I cannot be hindered. I cannot be stopped by any power, by any forces. I am going higher. I am going further. I am going out, taking my place in the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to be stopped. I refuse to be stopped. I cannot be stopped. It is my time, it is my hour, it is my season. I am going, breaking 
Breaking barrier. Breaking barrier. Breaking barrier. Breaking barrier. I am. I am in charge. I am in charge. I am advancing. I am advancing. I am advancing. I am advancing. To my last level. To my last level. To my last level. For I know who I am. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I cannot be defeated. For I know. I know I can do all things through Christ that stretches me. Any pain, any sickness in my body, whatever you are, in my lungs, in my kidney, in my ligaments, in my intestines, on my bones, I command you. Come out! Touch your body now. Touch your body now. You are going up. They must go up. They must go up. For you to advance. For you to advance. They for you to advance. For you to advance. Say in the name of Jesus. Right? Any heaviness. Any heaviness. Any burden in my life. Today. I receive light. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Take your hands up. Put your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Any migraine. Any migraine. That disturb my brain. Any migraine that destroy my brain, I command you. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Any depression, any depression, any depression, I command you. You must give way. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Go ahead and begin to talk about Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They say, Jesus Christ, they will pray. Amen. I'm going to sing a song and I'll, I'll believe. The song is, I am glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I am glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my everybody. I 